All right, here we go. This is the course overview synthesis, and a synthesis assignment is something you will find at the end of every module in this course. So what is a synthesis assignment? Synthesis, synthesis, synthesis. So synthesis assignments are text entry assignments that are meant to help you apply the concepts from the course to your future professional life. Um, this is a way for you to show that you can take all of the information you've absorbed in the module and apply it to your future profession as it relates to being a better interpersonal communicator. Synthesis assignments are worth 20% of your grade in this course, which is a lot, uh, rivaled only by the two book reports, which are each worth 10%. And of course, the lowest three grades are dropped. So what can you expect from this synthesis assignment as sort of a preview of future synthesis assignments? Synthesis, try saying that three times in a row. Synthesis, synthesis, synthesis. So this synthesis assignment is going to be about the knowledge skills motivation model and this is an important model in our course and it's something that I will reference back to again and again. So what I want you to do is brainstorm and make some notes after you review the information on this page and I want you to think what knowledge terminology, concepts, theories. What knowledge about interpersonal communication do you need to be successful in your future profession? Number two, what skills do you need in that profession to communicate effectively? For example, if you're planning on going into medicine, you might need to learn to be an active listener so you can make sure you understand your patient's symptoms and needs. Finally, third thing I want you to address here is what is your motivation for becoming a more effective communicator in your future profession? So what knowledge do you need? What skills do you need? And what is your motivation? As these all relate to communication specifically in your future profession. Now your submission needs to be at least 250 words. And if you need more information, you can always reference back to the quiz lesson. There is also a graphic on this page. And if you are hearing or sight impaired and need a translation, there's a link that follows that graphic with just the text information. All right, good luck. And after you submit this assignment, that will be the end of the first module. Um, the next module will be published the day before it begins, which means you should see it sometime on Tuesday evening. I hope this module has given you a good preview of the course, and I hope that you're excited about taking this course with me.